Welcome back to yet another episode of the Sunfall Dolphins TV show. Coming up on the first show of the new year. Our boys take on the Celsius Sharks in the highly anticipated festive Hollywood Bet showdown at the coast. We snuck behind curtains as Sahara Stadium Kingsmead readied itself to host the Boxing Day Test Series. We went for a spin with young batsman Daniel Singuba. A little over a week before Christmas, KZN's two franchise mega houses, the Sunfall Dolphins and Celsi Sharks, converged once again after a one year hiatus over a game of Goodwill cricket. With the tally resting at an even 1 1, the stakes were high as to who will be the one to tip the scales in their favour. An outcome the animated fans jam packed at our home stadium on the day were eagerly awaiting to see. The man behind it all, Pete DeVette, told us of the thrill that is sure to arise from the game. It is really competitive. I mean, you, you've got guys who are playing for the South Sea Sharks who, who played cricket at school. So, you know, you've got guys who are accomplished cricketers who, who, who've chosen another sport um, and, and chosen another career, um, but are still massively competitive. Um, so I expect to see fireworks out there and the guys are up for it. You know, to have a, a team like uh, Lance Klusner and John T. Rhodes and, and Sean Pollock back at, at Kingsmead is amazing. Um, and yeah, it's, it's good fun. I mean, I, I look forward to the, uh, to the, the, the rematch across there when some of these boys are playing rugby. That should be quite an interesting <laughs> one. Fun-filled events like this could never come to existence without the enthusiastic support of corporates such as Hollywood Bets and South Sea. They let us in on their reasons of involvement. It's a fantastic uh, evening out for uh, uh, family and sports fans alike. I think um, it's great to have the two big sporting teams of Natal clashing out on the cricket field. And uh, at the end of the day, it's all about charity. It's about giving back to the community and everything. And we've got two fantastic uh, beneficiaries that we're giving back to tonight in the Mlazi Cricket Club and the Malvern Children's Home. For us, it was just a natural fit to be part of this event. And I think, you know, with us, we're just going to bring that that vibe that just electrifies the stadium. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it seems to be growing from strength to strength. And I think, you know, we really were initially involved with the Sharks and uh, this year we've started making some, some inroads into talking to the Dolphins here and we're forging a nice relationship with the Dolphins and hopefully we can grow together and, uh, and really entrench ourselves in our brand uh, in KZN from a sporting perspective. Precursor to the big clash, legends from both the South Sea Sharks and Sunfall Dolphins came to blows in an entertaining encounter that saw former teammates once again share the same stage. The Celsi Sharks legends put in a valiant effort in chase of 59 for victory, but the Sunfield Dolphins legends proved too strong in the end, winning by eight runs. They shared their experience on the game. Good, really enjoyed it. Um, thought it might have been a few runs short, but uh, very good bowling from Doug Watson made sure that we secured it early. You know, you know it's, it's a crazy thing, regardless of who you're playing against, obviously the fun element there, but just coming back to Kingsmead, you know, it's been such a such a long time, but it really felt like coming home. Yeah, really cool. I think uh, the big show is coming now with the Dolphins versus the Sharks. A uh, couple of old, uh, old blacks smashing a ball around. Well, should I say, Dolphin, ex-Dolphin guys smashing a ball around, and us just having the privilege of being able to play a bit of cricket with some legends of the game. The big clash finally underway. The Celsi Sharks responded with a strong start, managing a few sixes of their own, achieving more than 200 runs in their innings. In the end, however, the target proved too much, deeming the Sunfall Dolphins victors of the Hollywood Bets showdown at the coast 2015. Keeping true to the merry spirit of the game, we heard from players from both teams who proved that in the end, there were no losers on the day, only a strengthened bond between the two sporting houses. The pros came through, eh? Uh, that's what they did, they came through, uh, but it was a good fun game, enjoyed it. You know, over the last two games it's ended up 1-1 in the series, so it was almost like the decided tonight, so there was no way we were going to allow them bragging rights till next year. We need a game, a touch rugby or contact or something? I don't think so, bro. We'll, we'll break those guys if they come to, come to rugby. You see how scrawny those guys are? <laughs> For the fans, the entire event was nothing but a thrill. Oh, it was awesome, absolutely spectacular. It was awesome to watch them give for a worthy cause and it was great fun, family events, loved it. Probably the best thing was the vibe in the crowd because it was two completely different sides but two sides that are so much the same. Um, and I think the kids were running around and there were big shots and it was really good fun.
with our boys having made the KZN Cricket Fraternity proud through their valiant trek through the 2015 Ram Slam T20 competition, Coach Klusner looked back on their campaign with pride, noting the sturdy level of competitiveness our boys brought forth. I think we all sort of start the season really just wanting to play in the final and then I suppose once you get there it's, it's anybody's game. Um, had a little bit of a hiccup in the, in the, in the, in the middle of the competition but uh, really excited about the way um, Andy Lil performed in the, in the semi-final and you know once we, we get past that for me that's the, the hardest game of the competition is a semi-final and um, got through that extremely excited, uh, just quite didn't get enough runs I, I guess in the final but um, yeah, beaten by, by a better day on the team and I think extremely proud of the fact that we actually we, we got there and, and, and were pretty competitive. Coach Klusner remains confident on our chances in adding silverware to our cabinet. We, we've got a good shot of winning all competitions we play in and we haven't had that for a while. So, I mean, to those loyal supporters, it's, it, it is time to, to come back to Kingsmead and, 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 and watch a team that, that can win um, all the competitions we, we play in. And we've got some super, super young talent and mix that with some old heads and uh, we, we're competitive. And we've proved that in the one competition that, that we've had a final so far. And we're looking to do the same, uh, most certainly in the, in the 50 over competition and, and see how far we go in the, in the Sunfall series. Shortly after the big showdown between the Celsius Sharks and our very own boys, Sahara Stadium Kingsmead wasted no time in embarking on preparations to welcome international and local spectators, as it readied itself to host the Boxing Day Test after a five-year hiatus. Stadium manager Brett Proctor let us in on all that is involved in hosting international games. You know, you know it's an awful lot of work. You know, you put in an incredible number of hours when it comes to preparing for a Boxing Day test. I mean, during the course of the test match, we're here at 5 in the morning and we're leaving at 10 at night. So, obviously, the key thing is the field. Um, we started preparing the pitch straight after the Sharks-Dolphins uh, game. We flood it and keep it under a lot of water for a while before we start rolling, um, which we started this weekend past the 19th, 20th. For approximately 200 security guards here during the course of the match, we have almost 20 medical personnel, the safety of the, of the, of the public and, and the teams that are here. And then there's all the hospitality that goes around again. I mean, the, the bars and, and, and function rooms that have to be stocked. The amount of liquor that gets consumed and poured in here, we've ordered 250 li uh, 450 litre kegs of beer, that's 20,000 litres, and that's probably just for the first two days plus over 5,000 cans of any particular brand, so the, the bars will be stocked. I think we're taking small steps at each time just to try and improve the spectator experience when they come to, to watch cricket, particularly test cricket here at Kingsmead. For our CEO, Pete DeVette, opportunities to host international games at our home stadium are those he encourages dearly. Absolutely. International cricket is really where we get to show off what we're made of, um, both from a stadium and an operational point of view, but also for our team to be able to come out and, and show the fans of Durban, cricket fans of Durban, what they're made of. So, so international cricket's a key one for us. And, and you know, as we, as we continue to improve our stadium and improve the way that we um, operate around international cricket at Kingsmead, um, that means we'll climb higher up the ladder of, of ranking as far as cricket. South Africa is concerned and that will ultimately mean more international cricket and that's really what we're after. We want to have more international cricket at Kingsmead. For the local fans in attendance, their experience whenever the Boxing Day Test match lands at Sahara Stadium Kingsmead is always a joyful one. Yes, well, uh, to be live at the stadium is a different experience altogether. You know, the vibe here with everybody just enjoying themselves, having fun. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, in terms of at Sahara Stadium, well, uh, Cricket South Africa knows which is the premier stadium to uh, bring the Boxing Day test to. I'm sure it will be well supported. No, it's awesome. Eh? Yeah, and uh, to have it on Boxing Day, it's got to stay. It's got to stay. Eh? Every year we bring the kids along. Eh? Oh, I've always watched cricket here at Sahara Stadium mainly, and it's, it's been from a young kid and getting a bit older. It's, it's always lovely. Eh? It's lovely to be here, yeah. And you know, it's a jewel. You have a couple of drinks with your mates. Watch the cricket, get some banter flowing. It's awesome, it really is. Just do the test match. Bring it on. Protea fire. Our player profile for the new year is 23-year-old right-hand batsman Daniel Singuba. 
always the strong-minded and focused individual. His introduction to the game by older siblings led to a devoted love affair that has seen him climb the ranks from the Suncoast Academy to his debut for the Sunfall Dolphins in the 2014-2015 season. Our sturdy batsman let us in on the moment he donned the red and green colours. Oh, it was special. I was so nervous leading up into it. I knew I was going to face a, a pretty good Titans attack with my Shantilanga, the likes Rowan Richards. So I was very nervous going into it. But once I stepped onto the field to go bat, I was as relaxed as usual. Having the support structure as you pursue your dreams is a privilege not everyone is privy to. As was the case with Daniel. He shared to young aspiring cricket players his experiences. Tough sometimes in the African community, it's tough to get that support because a lot of people don't understand cricket and it's hard for them to see a future in it. So for someone like myself who's always taken it pretty seriously, even when not much is happening for me, it was quite tough to get that support. But I just stick at it, just keep going. It's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. But um, any obstacles that you, that you meet, there is a way to overcome them. All you've got to do is, is just try and find a, a smart way to work hard. It's not just about working hard, but about working smart as well, especially with those obstacles. Displaying his competitive and determined nature out on the open, Daniel and close buddy within the Sunfield Dolphin setup, Aaron Gongorm, geared up and took to the track in a challenge to determine who would reign supreme. Our eager contenders shared a few words on the matter. I think I'm more competitive, but I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest, I think he has got me covered, but I've got that competitive edge, that competitive spirit. So that's going to get me through. Yeah. It's going to get you through nothing, but you... <laughs> Come, you're going to lose, but, but you're the massive game. Man. Let's see. Let's just, let's just save it for the track. Let's save it for the track. We'll see. <laughs> With that said, take it away, boys. Further showcasing his never say die attitude, Daniel explained his driving. Yeah, I think I got unlucky, eh? I think Aaron got a bit lucky, he got the faster of the cars. And then he bumped me from behind and my car didn't work anymore, I had to change cars. So yeah, a bit of bad luck, a slow car and a bit of dirty play by my mate here. That's it for this episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.dolphinscricket.co.za. Follow us on Twitter at Sunfold Dolphins and like our Facebook page, Dolphins Cricket. Until next month, goodbye.